Hi, I'm Tian Brown, encouraging you to keep the faith. We live in a society that often focuses on big things, a bigger house, a bigger SUV, an elaborate vacation, and many strive for these things because seemingly they're signs of success. And there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes we tend to think that the bigger things in society are more important than the smaller things. Maybe we believe that bigger churches are more important than smaller churches. And these mega churches, they're doing amazing work in their communities. However, we must understand and remember that God loves the little things too. And sometimes that's hard to hold on to, especially while we're living through the coronavirus crisis. This is a big life-changing ordeal and one of the biggest events that many of us have ever faced in a lifetime. It's big news, big change, big problems, and big fears. But this big event is creating the time for you to focus on the smaller things to be grateful for small blessings, like being able to have a warm meal or going on long walks with family members. In this time that we've been home, many have noticed things for the first time, like an intricate design on the flower that sits in our front yard or the same birds that show up to sing every morning. Jesus noticed the little things too. Towards the latter part of his journey, he stopped to heal one woman and stop to heal one blind man. And yes, he thought that this was just as important as healing the masses. In describing the kingdom of heaven, Jesus said it's like a mustard seed in which a man took and planted in his field. And though it's the smallest of seeds, it grows into one of the largest garden plants into a tree and thereby birds can come and perch in its branches. Little things, tiny things, become big things. They are important. So make sure you take time to notice the flowers and the birds. Be grateful that you can drink a warm cup of coffee. Now you may not be on the front lines fighting coronavirus. However, you can check on an elderly neighbor. You can call a friend who may be living alone. It's the little things. May God bless you and make sure to keep the faith.